Hey guys, Joanne here. Just coming to talk to you today about um, your neck and core exercises. And we know when we're doing core exercises, we talk about, you know, maybe interlacing the hands, taking the thumb down the neck and really resting the back of the head in the cradling arms and your elbows come out a little bit so you're not opening up too much here and really just not using the neck at all. But I still hear people telling me I still feel my neck. So why don't we just do a few little core exercises so that you really know what you can do if um, you're in class and somebody's cueing you to do these. A little space under the chin is always a nice cueing. So you're not doing this. You never want to do that with your neck. But let's just take the neck out of it and lay all the way down on our backs. So let's make sure the lower back is pressing down. Your core is glued. You've got no space under that lower back. Your head goes down all the way. So the middle of your skull is resting on the floor. And then just bring your legs up one at a time into tabletop. So again, you want to make sure that space did not come from under the lower back, you're still pressing down here, pressing down really strong in that back, head down, legs are above the hips, tabletop, imagining your shins resting on a table, arms up. And then we're just gonna do our dead bug one at a time for 30 seconds. So right arm back, left leg forward. See how far you can get fingers from toes, squeeze the glutes. As you reach out, squeeze, push the belly down. So your head is really resting. Back of your skull connected. Lower back connected. And then just switch sides. Keep that back totally down. No space under that back under that lower back sacrum. Exhale the leg in, inhale and brace it out. Give me two more. One more time. And then just alternate. So I'm doing these for 30 seconds. Exhale. Inhale, activate the glutes, 10 seconds, four, two, and last time, and hug it in for a second. So those are your dead bugs alternating. Um, arm and leg, opposite side. Stay on one side for 30 seconds, stay on the other side for 30 seconds, and then do both. And then we can do our little flutter kicks. So same thing, make sure you're gluing down, your legs are up, your head goes down, your legs come down to 45 degrees, and we just flutter kick. I personally like to lift my head here and keep my shoulders down, but you can bring your head down Again, make sure you're not looking back towards behind you. You are keeping your eyes straight up to the sky. Bellies down, imprinted down. Four, three, two, and one. And rest. So that's 30 seconds. You can do this whole series a few times. So just do the whole thing, get to the end of the recording, rewind it, and maybe do it three sets each, take your legs up, let's try something else. You're gonna cross your right ankle, make a little diamond, and again with the head down, reverse curls. So we're just lifting. Lower core, feet straight up to the sky. Yeah, give me four more. Four, back of your skull is down. Three, crown of your head is long. Two, one more. And rest. 
So again, you can do another set of those crossing your ankles in the other direction. And again, 30 seconds. And again, try not to use momentum. So you're not swinging your legs around. You're just using your lower belly and poking up to the sky. And then double leg drops. So you can bring your hands on either side of your tailbone, back down, belly down, head down. And again, we just drop, brace your belly, exhale up. You come as low as your legs will allow you to keep your back down. So no arching. So that might just be here and here. Keep your ribs down. You got it, exhale up. Couple more. And then hug it in. So that was lower belly, the whole core, really bracing, really protecting the back, really nothing in the neck at all there. And if you'd like a little bit of the upper core, here, this is where we do that cueing, where you take your hands behind the middle of your skull, lift your head off the floor, bring your elbows up slightly. You've got a little space under that chin, so you're not down here, I'm trying to look your chin is going up towards your feet. And then we just lift the shoulders. Keep pushing the head back into the cradling arms. And you can do 30 seconds there. We'll do about eight more. Seven, six, and so my neck is protected. Five, four, three, two, and hug it in for a second. Beautiful. So that's just a little bit of core exercises for you, really not using the neck at all. The last one, you are lifting the shoulder tips off the floor, but you're resting. You're resting, pushing the back of that head into the cradling hands. I like to take my thumbs down my neck. You feel like you're lengthening that neck. At no point do you wanna feel like you're doing any of this so um, again you can go back you can rewind this two more times and do the whole thing again and I promise you you'll feel nice and safe nice and strong in the core upper lower midsection wonderful exercises for you safely for the neck all right have a good day hope you liked it